and welcome back to the next installment in our Channel Mum Meets series. Today I am so excited because I am off to meet the amazing and inspirational Katie Piper. So I've got the cakes and I'm really hoping she's got the kettle on. Let's go meet her. If you aren't aware who Katie is, she is a TV presenter who has taken part in various different documentaries. She has written a best-selling autobiography has her own fashion range. Um, you spend lots of time working on your charity, the Casey Piper That's Foundation. Right. Yep. And on top of all of that, you're a mum <laughs> to a little girl, yeah. Belle. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, yeah. And you're pregnant with your second baby. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So a lot going on. Yeah. You are juggling a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. How do you juggle being a working mum? Um, I think definitely secretly I enjoy being busy at a tiny bit stressed I, I probably thrive off it and I'm probably more productive when mm. I'm busy there's mm. that saying about you know give give a busy person a job and they're more likely to get it done and I do struggle for balance sometimes yeah but then I try and recognize that and then try and sort of put things back into an even keel so that I don't get that mummy guilt as well yes yeah, and the latest thing you've been working on at the moment is your maternity collection. That's right, yes. Which is literally just launched. So I'm wearing a it looks so jump cute. suit. Yeah. yeah, I love it. It's like modelling clothes and I don't have to breathe in for once. Yeah, so. amazing. <laughs> but I've always thought that fashion isn't just a frivolous thing. Like for mm. me, fashion is about um, confidence, identity, mm. that I can be like more assertive and in control if I feel like I look good and I yeah. feel, you know, if I wear something and don't feel good in it, it mm. Mm -hmm. I am all day. Mm -hmm. So first pregnancy, I spent loads of money on really expensive high-end brands mm -hmm. for maternity wear, telling myself I'll save it all, wear it again. Yeah. I wore it for a few months and my size kept changing. Mm -hmm. I packed it all away, got it out for the second pregnancy and I'm like, it's mm. four years old, I yeah, don't want to wear it. Fashion. Yeah, it's not a fashion. <laughs> so there was quite a waste of money and I'd already made a uh, fashion collection with the brand Want That Trend. Yes. So we had an existing relationship. So I said to them, look guys, I'm now like three, four months into this pregnancy and all I'm wearing is my husband's like hoodies. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> shirts. Yeah, and I, I'm racing to get home to put on pajamas because all my clothes are digging into me. Mm -hmm. I'm getting up to go to meetings and cutting waistbands with scissors on my skirt and putting my jumper over it. Yeah. This is getting ridiculous. So I designed stuff that was how I'd still normally dress. But taking into consideration, like the tops of my arms have changed. Yeah. I don't want to wear like strapless all the time. Mm -hmm. Boobs have changed. Yeah. I need to wear a bra. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But also taking into consideration this price point. Of, I don't yes, want to spend. I was going to say the price point is really good. Isn't yeah. It? So now we're going to do a bit of a quick fire round of some mummy questions. Cool. So soft play or park? Hmm. I spent my life in both, but I think yeah. Park Park because she loves to be outdoors. Co sleeping or kick them out? Kick them out. Yeah. Um, she slept in a cot for six months in the room and mm -hmm. then she went into her own bedroom. But every morning she wakes up early and she comes in the bed in the mornings. Oh, um, yeah, that's nice. You yeah. get your cuddles. Granny knickers or G strings? <laughs> Today, Granny. Yeah. Uh, first three months of pregnancy, and uh, you know, after the birth, I'm at G strings, but Granny, yeah. granny, granny for now, momentarily. Yeah, absolutely. Really, yeah. yeah. Do you have a celebrity crush? Um, do you know what? I don't. I probably more stalk females I was than men. Say, what are my yeah. crush. Or yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, there's some pretty cool, and again, it wouldn't be celebrities. It would be more like Insta mums, yes. bloggers, um, entrepreneurs. Mm. Do you know who I love on Instagram is Hurrah for Jin. Oh, yeah. I love her. She's yeah. Really cool. So funny. Yeah. It? I always look at her stuff. It cheers me up, makes me laugh. Kids leftovers, bin them or eat them? Eat them. Yeah. Especially now. <laughs> Chocolate or sweet? Both, please. Yeah. <laughs> when you're pregnant, yeah. Yeah. But if not pregnant, a nice dairy milk. Yeah. yeah. Spa day or shopping spree? Definitely a spa day. Yeah. Because I'm very online with shopping. The good, the bad, and the ugly. How would Belle describe you in three words? I think she'd describe me as crazy. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. Um, firm and affectionate. Mm -hmm. How does Belle feel about becoming a big sister? Is she excited? It's so cool because like she's a few months off turning four, so mm -hmm. she really understands it. Yeah. yeah, and she's talking like I'm gonna be a big sister and you know she's told everyone at nursery that she's pregnant. That's really oh, good. She's got baby in her tummy. She lifts her up and puts her stomach out. She's like, Mummy, look at my tummy. Oh, so so she's a very affectionate, caring child. She'll like hug the bum, kiss it. 
But she's also got this thing in her personality. I can totally imagine how when the baby's born, threatening to put it in the bin. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think there will be <laughs> a few. Be a... <laughs> yeah, when she actually meets it, I think she'll be a bit like, what's well, not actually coming home this to us? Stay, it's staying for good? Yeah. yeah. On Channel Mum, we've done some research and it came out that nine out of 10 mums can feel quite lonely in motherhood. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Have you ever felt isolated yeah. being a mum? I think especially when I had my first, because you're so new to it and mm. you can almost read too much information and think, oh, is there, is there things I'm not doing that I should be doing or are there things I'm not feeling? It's different now because Belle talks, so yes. we, we go to like Costa it's Coffee like together. Best friend now. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. when they didn't talk, you could think, oh my goodness, you know, all of the, I, I don't speak to anyone and that's, that's sometimes tough. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave us a comment down below and let us know who you would like to meet in the next Channel Mum Meets. And we'll see you soon. Bye guys.